In other videos, we have seen how to load and parse CSV and JSON data files. In this video, I will show you a much quicker way to load a JSON file. I have Dataforge Notebook open here, but let me show you the data file that I'm going to be loading. I'm just in the demo data directory here. Let's have a look at what's in here. You can see there's one file, example.json. This is a JSON data file, and JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Let's look at what's in this file using the cat command. You can see here the contents of this text file. Now I'm back in Dataforge Notebook, and I want to be able to open this data file so I can work with the data that's inside it. First, I'll create a new JavaScript notebook. I'm saving this notebook next to the data file so that I can access the data file using a relative path. The easiest way to load this JSON data file is by using the DataKit code library. I will require that into my notebook now. The function we want to use here is called datakit readjacent. We can specify the name of the file that we'd like to load. Note that I'm using a path here that is relative to the location of the notebook. readjacent is an asynchronous function, so I need to use the await keyword to await the results of this data loading operation. I will capture the loaded data into a variable. My first thing I want to do with this is just to do a console.log, see what the data looks like. I will run this notebook and we'll see the result. You can see the data here that's been loaded from the data file. A better way to visualize our tabular data is to use dataforge's display.table function. I'll run the notebook again. Now we can see the result rendered as a table. In future videos, we'll learn how to transform and filter this data and then save it as a new data file. 